Welcome to Sask Moto. I haven't done an update on my motorcycle in a little while and to show you all the upgrades I've done to it. Um, pretty close to finish, I think. The one thing that I plan on doing is getting a new exhaust. Um, although it doesn't need it, I found an exhaust that will give you another horsepower and a half. Is it a big deal? I don't know. It might make a difference, so we'll find out. It's a Scorpion exhaust, and I'm having it chipped from England. Hopefully, I'll be getting it soon. But I wanted to go over all of the other things that I've done to this beautiful motorcycle. I've had it for... It'll be two years in March of 2025, and just wanted to go through it with you, just so you could see. Again, I haven't done this in a while, so there are there are some upgrades that I've done that you might not be aware of, and I'll try to go over some of the costs as well with it. So, with that, uh, let's start. So first things first what were the first things that i've done to the motorcycle when i first got it um were the hand guards those were the very first thing that i got because i needed some um i got those off of amazon they're about 25 bucks or something like that um they're mounted to the bar right here i should have used stainless steel screws but i didn't that's okay. Um, as you can see, they have an aluminum back, you know, with the plastic front. And as you can see, they've saved the motorcycle a lot from all the crashes. So that was the very first thing I got. Second thing I got was this windshield. And because I ride it on the freeway and I, I'm a tall person, so I didn't want everything blowing on me. Um, I got this off of Amazon too, and it was like 25 bucks. So those are the first two things that I got. And I recommend if you're getting a motorcycle, you know, and you want, are you getting this BMW G310 GS? Those are the first things I would say to do. The next thing I got was these bars to help protect um, the radiator, which is right here, and as well as all the plastics. And is it necessary to have? Maybe not if you're not riding off-road, but if you are, you're going to crash. So I've laid this down about a dozen times, and you can see all the scratches on this. You know, obviously all the scratches on that. I've got scratches all over the exhaust, and those are the best things you could buy. I got those off of Amazon. They were, I don't know, like 175 or 200 bucks. They have protect a uh, radiator. They also... You know, just protect everything. These plastics should have been all scratched up, but they haven't been. So that's the next thing I got. And you can see it on this side as well. After that, I got aesthetics. I got this piece right here, the duck bell. Um, I don't know, it just makes it look complete. Those are like 20 bucks. So, you know, those are all just for aesthetics. It doesn't do anything for performance. I just think it looks a lot better than it did. Next thing I got was this little gadget right here. It's basically cruise control. When you um, are riding on the freeway, you push this lever, it locks it, and you push the X and it unlocks it. So that's the next thing I got. I think that was 20 bucks on Amazon too. So a lot of the stuff I got on Amazon. Um, the next thing I got, this thing right here. It's made by SRC and it fits amazing. And the cool thing about it is, I don't know if you guys know this, but this headlight right here is close to $2,000 to fix that. So you might want to get something to protect it. Even on the road, if you think a rock gets kicked up and shatters that or damages that, you're going to have to replace that. What's cool about it is it's held on by these four little grommets, the rubbers. And all you have to do is pull it off and you can clean your windshield and do all that. It comes right off. So that is cool. And I would recommend getting something like that. 
it's attached um, right here and it also attaches right here so it stays on safe you don't need to worry about it so that will help you save a lot of money just for that what's the next thing i got was this engine guard oil guard um this i got it i want to say for i don't know 50 bucks or something and it covers and helps uh, protect the oil filter it also protects the bottom of the engine and that's something that needs to be upgraded first thing because the one that comes from bmw is plastic so you want to get one of those things and like i said it wasn't very expensive but it was well worth it the next thing i got were the tires these are battle axe um, by bridgestone and they've been amazing tires i've loved them i have uh, 3,000 miles on them right now and the front i don't need to change the front it's got really good traction um, and here's the rear it still has a little bit of traction and i have one sitting in my garage for when i need to replace this one but I love the tires. They've been great, and I would recommend buying them if you do any off-roading. Um, they even work really good on the street and the freeway. And again, this has um, 3,000 miles on it, so it still has traction on it. It's doing really good. Those tires, you, I got the whole set for about $230. They always go on sale, so they're really good tires. Um, I got them at motorsport.com. Uh, the next thing I got were these tank protectors. And if you wear stuff like I wear um, with knee pads and stuff, you want to get those because you want to scratch up your tank. They help you grip a little bit. Um, so I, it comes with two of these and this one right here. And it helps with zippers and stuff so you don't mess that up. Those are some of the accessories. The next thing that I got is GPS mount. Um, I got this off of Amazon. I want to say it was $25. And then you mount it just to this bar and it hooks up to that. But, you know, the number one thing that I get with regards to the questions is where do you buy these bars at? And the answer is Home Depot. I had to make these because there is nothing that you can buy. Um, they're very easy to make. They're made out of aluminum. I want to say this the bar costs maybe $15 and you just cut it bend it. I bend it in a vise. You can see it's attached down here and it's attached up here on both sides and you don't get the shaking of the GPS you would normally get. If you just had this bar right here the thing would shake crazy and it just annoyed the crap out of me. And so that's why I made this piece right here on both sides. Literally, it took, I don't know, half hour to do. Um, again, I used a vise. I just bent it, you know, obviously measured it, cut it, and bent it here, bent it here. And then drilled holes for the screws, and that was it. That's the next thing I got. I bought the Garmin. This is kind of expensive. Is it worth it? Yeah, it's worth it when you're off-road. Um, you don't have to use your phone or look at your phone. You can uh, receive texts on here and um, you can play music through it. I have it hooked up to my Bluetooth on my um, helmet. And so you can control songs and volume and all that other stuff through it. It's all touchscreen. It's waterproof. You don't have to worry about that. All right. So moving on, the next thing I purchased was these lights right here on the front and i paid like a hundred and something dollars for them 150 bucks and they're amazing they work really good especially on the road and off-road and i'll turn them on for you so you can see there's a little switch right here you just push on and they're actually really bright and make a huge difference in you know visibility not just for you but for other people to see you so they work really good i would recommend if you do a lot of off-roading go ahead and get them they work amazing so go ahead and turn that off and then the next thing i did was um, installed a usb 
charging port right here. Um, I didn't want to cut up everything, so I just um, installed it with the lights, and it works with the key, or not. So you can see it has the voltage on it, so you can see that it's on or off, and has two ports, and it's waterproof when you use the cover on it, like that. Simple, but, you know, you, if you need to charge something like your phone, you just connect it, put it in there, and that comes to the next thing. I purchased this GV tank bag. It's been a lifesaver because I don't need to carry my phone in my pockets anymore or anything. Um, if you get off the motorcycle, you say you're getting lunch or something, you put all the stuff in and you just bring that with you, and it's really easy. Um, it's been amazing and, I, and it's probably one of the better things that I bought and here's the ring that it attaches to and this red thing you use that to take it off and it just clips in and it's very secure love it recommend it 100% the next thing that I purchased was the rally raid suspension um, bought that from rally raid products uk united kingdom and i've been really impressed by it um was it expensive yeah it was expensive you know but i want to say 1300 bucks for the front and the rear but i'm a heavy person and it works amazing and it's the level two kit which comes with a um adjustable front forks with the preload right here and then also um high speed and low speed compression adjustments right there and then also has a preload adjuster right here and then you just turn and you can adjust your preload so um, with my weight and all the stuff that I carry in my bags it's been very amazing off-road and I'm sure you've seen the videos of my review on that so yeah that's an upgrade that I got and then the latest thing that I got were these double take mirrors. Um, what do I want to say about it? Are they needed? Probably not. Um, after having them on for a couple months here, um, I honestly don't use them the way I should. In that, uh, you know, you can fold them down and fold them up. But as you can see, they don't stick out too much further than the handlebar so they don't get in the way so I don't hit trees and stuff if I hit a tree I'm probably in a place where I shouldn't be um, so you know that that's one of those things where you purchase them and you try them out if you like them great if you don't great um, the bad thing about it is that they vibrate on the freeway at high speeds um, with this motorcycle you have to rev high on the freeway to uh, utilize the power on it so that's one of the things that um, is bad about the double take two mirrors um, you know I haven't seen any reviews on the regular double take so I don't know if that makes a difference or not but would I buy those again probably not um, you know that comes to a good point is there anything on here that I wouldn't have purchased um, and honestly, the only thing that I wouldn't have purchased was the double take mirrors. Everything else I would have bought again if I had to do it all over again. But the bike looks cool. Um, oh yeah, a couple things that I forgot that I also purchased were um, this little kickstand thing that helps it not sink in. That's something that you need um, because in the dirt sand your motorcycle will fall over with a just a small kickstand and i also bought this steel plate um if you break that switch you won't be able to start your motorcycle so um, those are recommended to get to and those are like 25 bucks on amazon the one that comes with it is plastic this one is metal so less likely to break but yeah I think I've went over all the upgrades, and this is my baby G. It's beautiful. Walk it around. 
you know, you can see what it looks like. But yeah, it's a nice looking motorcycle, at least I think. That's what it looks like. There she is, the baby G. In her native territory. If you have any questions about any of the parts, um, feel free to leave them in the comments. As always, I read all the comments and respond. So with that, have a freaking fantastic day, and we'll see you soon. Mountain in the middle of nowhere. On top of Capitol Peak. And got the dune buggy patrol here. Got all these different flags. Trump. Let them go by. So loud. WTF. It's going so fast it shook the shit right off. <laughs>